Uh, the Albertville Aggies on the stage now, and uh, Coach Cliff Mitchell beginning his second season. Coach, if you had introduced the two young men that you brought with you today to Media Day and then make some opening comments about this 2020 season and the Albertville Aggies, we appreciate it. Yes, sir. Um, to my right up here, uh, number 50, Jackson Godwin. He's our uh, center, started center last year. Uh, to my left here is Trinity Bell, number uh, number one, plays uh, plays our wide receiver and a defensive end for us. Um, first, I'd like to uh, I'd like to say just uh, while it's on my mind that uh, Hunter Harris, that played defense for us last year, played D defensive line and linebacker. His mom uh, suddenly passed away earlier in the week. Uh, the funeral's going on uh, right now, and uh, they had visitation last night. So. If everybody watching and listening could uh, lift the Harris family up in your prayers, I know they would uh, they would appreciate that. Um, outlook wise, I think uh, the number one question I get asked all the time is uh, is we go and how how seven a going to be, and uh, like I've said, numerous folks, us moving up to seven a, you know, my guys look at it as an opportunity uh, more than a challenge. Um, people say well, I, people are talking about well you play the big boys. Well, I think we're pretty big. <laughs> I mean, uh, I think uh, I think our team is senior laden right now. We've got 35 seniors on the roster. It's most that most that I can remember. This I'm starting my 18th year at Albertville. Um, second year as the head coach, but I've been there seems like all my life. Um, been there since 2003. So this is the biggest senior group we've had, and we're uh, we're ready for 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 the challenges ahead, uh, and we're ready to have a good season. All right, questions, guys. Touching on that senior class. Um, I guess just talk about how important it is to have a strong senior class when you have something this the way the season's been disrupted like this. Yes, well we've got we've we've got really good senior leadership and, and having a bunch of older guys a little bit you know, a little bit more mature than freshmen and sophomores, just to be honest. They're they're a little bit older, they've been through it. Especially during a time that we've been through right now with the, the, the pandemic that's going on. The guys have kind of responded to how we are doing things in the field house, coming in with a certain door, which is different, you know, making sure we get hand sanitizer, making sure our temperature gets checked, um, all that stuff. And these guys, as long as the older guys do it, the younger guys follow. And that's the way it's always been. When you got 35 guys that's seniors, that's a lot of guys to, to follow, and they're setting a good example. Coach, talk about those 35 seniors. How many starters, offense, defense? God, let's see. Uh, just counting off the top of my head, one, two, three, four, five. We're sitting around 15 to 16 starters that are seniors. On both sides, so on of, the both sides of the ball, just, just adding them together. Um, and that, you know, that's huge. That's huge for you because you can, we're, well, you can put in a whole lot more stuff because, you know, they're just, they're more mature. They're, they know what to, they know what to expect from us. They've been around our program. Um, you know, when it went from me, from Coach Pruitt to me, we didn't change a whole lot of what we were doing. Um, as far as as far as everyday day to day stuff, because Coach Pruitt and I had, had worked together for a long time and kind of had th stuff set straight that we wanted, and uh, so it's, the, our senior guys have been buying in and they're setting an example for our younger ones. We've got a, you know, right now 10th through 12th grade we've got 96, and then I got 45 freshmen, um, so we're sitting around the 140 person mark on our 9th through 12th. And that, you know that, that's just related. It's just related to, to how big our school is. I know that, but we've got these young, these older guys are setting great examples for the younger guys. Our two B ninth grade, our two B ninth graders have gone. They went seven and one in junior high. The last two, you know, that's seventh and eighth graders. They was they were a really good junior high team. So they're getting to watch these older guys who have been successful all the way through in almost every sport. So they're getting to see an example set for them. And I'm proud of I'm proud of our senior class. I'm proud of these two guys that's sitting on each side of me. Coach, this is an unprecedented year. Why do you tell your players to keep them fired up? Really, I don't have to say a whole lot to these guys. Um, they, they, this group right here is, is ready and raring to go all the time. They're blowing my phone up about, can we get in the weight room? Can we get on the field and throw? Can we do this? Can we do that? Coach, we're ready to play. I'm ready to play. When can we play? So I know in, in their mind they're fired up, and I hope – you know, I I hope and pray that we get to we get to have a season this year because I'm excited about this group of guys that we have at Avril. Coach, short of a two part question here, one for you, one for the players. Okay. Uh, in, in your mind, uh, you mentioned opportunity and, and not challenge. What has to be different for the Avril Aggies heading into this new year to take advantage of those opportunities? And for the players, how do you guys 
hope to affect your team uh, individually and together uh, in order to help coach and the staff kind of get that point across and take advantage of those opportunities? Well, you know, when, when, when those big schools that we get to play, we haven't really got to play in the past, you know, we're going to play, we're going to play our rivals. We're going to play A-Rab and Boaz and Gunners, and we're excited about those those guys, those are those are those old school hometown games that you know people get fired up for. So, when I talk to the players about playing a, a Bob Jones, a James Clemens, a, a teams that we haven't played before, you know, that, there'd be a few guys that know each other on each other team, but you know, the opportunity is there to that we, if you beat one of those teams, that everybody in the state's going to know that. So that's the opportunity set, you know, set before us, and we're going to take that and run with it. And these guys are these guys are ready to do that. If you want to repeat that second question, yeah, you might want to do uh, that. <laughs> how, how, how you guys as leaders on the team expect it, uh, from yourself personally to affect your team to take it, those advantages, those opportunities? Go first. Yeah, I'll go first. Um, <clears throat> uh, this year, I feel like we've been led like sort of like by our, our players, like we're a player-led team. And someone told me that like a player-led team would always go farther than a coach-led team. And just right now, our seniors are leading the team right now, so that's why. Um, we're definitely looking at it as an opportunity, like Coach said, to uh, make a name for Albertville. Um, we, uh, our senior class, we're all just really excited. Like uh, we've kind of talked about taking the region by storm, and uh, a lot of these teams, like they don't know what we bring to the table, and they don't know what uh, what we're going to look like. So just uh, hoping to make a name for ourselves. This question for Trinity and Jackson. Coach said 35 seniors on the football team. He chose you two guys to come today. Talk about what that means to you to represent the Alpha Blaggies in front of the media on media day. Oh, it's just a blessing from God. I, I thank Coach so much. Uh, yeah, it's definitely a huge honor. Um, and uh, but we don't want to think we're all 35 of the seniors are uh, all a big part of the team. Even the guys that don't play a lot, uh, just everybody has the same mentality, and everybody just it's a brotherhood. Kind of going off that, Coach, talk to us a little bit about these two guys. I mean, what do they bring on and off the field for your team? Oh, these these two guys beside me, you know, and, and Jackson said it, you know, all of those senior guys, we've got, y'all could have brought them all. I mean, we could they could have all been up here and been with us and, and been behind us, and that's that's kind of the deal. This, this is as close-knit a team as, as I've been around. They, they, they hang out, they talk, they, they're with each other all the time. Um, Jackson, he, he's a he, he's a – Really good leader on the field, really good leader off the field. Um, kind of gets guys where they need to be, you know, helps me get stuff, you know, get stuff going. Um, you know, Trinity, Trinity is a fantastic athlete, great kid, shows up and does what he's supposed to do all the time, works hard, sets that example. You know, I know he gets, he's getting recruited, you know, going to Tennessee, you know, gets all the fanfare, but he also shows up every day and works his butt off too. So those guys see that. And uh, so I'm, I'm proud of both of these guys. I'm proud of all of our seniors. You know, we, we got a ton. You know, I, I could I could probably name them all. Um, you know, but but I don't. You know, I could do that, but you know, I don't want to waste everybody's time naming naming all of our seniors. But all of our guys are, are fantastic leaders, and I'm so proud of this senior class. Going back to senior, you got a senior quarterback coming back. Yes. Ben Allen's played. I don't know how many plays as quarterback at Alabama mm -hmm. the last two years. How is it important is it to have that quarterback that's been with you now two years in your system to lead the team? Well, you know, Ben Ben as a as a senior quarterback, you know, that, that gives us an opportunity. You know, Coach Rutledge, your offense coordinator, gives him a lot of leeway in the offense. We're we're gonna run a ton of RPOs, a ton of RSOs. A lot of that stuff is is for, for Ben to be able to read, uh, give him a lot of freedom. To do that, and you know he's been around. He's been around with Coach Rutledge. You know his ninth grade year, eleventh grade year, and now his senior year. So, so those two have a pretty good relationship. Um, you know, our offensive line has got you know three seniors right. Now, you know that, that started last year with with Trent, with uh, Chris Ramirez, and with Jackson. Those three seniors out there. Uh, Zion uh, Davis will be starting at receiver. Trinity's a starter at receiver. Um, those two seniors. Um, you know, on the defensive side of the ball, you know, Cade Bowman, I think, has made a million tackles for us over his career. He's, he's played since his ninth grade year. Uh, you know, Kai Jordan has always been in the back in the defensive backfield for us, but we're going to move him to running back this year. Uh, he's going to play a little bit of both, but he's going to play more running back. He's another senior that's played a million snaps for us. Um, 
So we've got, you know, our defensive line, you know, we got Jose Gomez, Will Hand. You know, I could name a million, you know, I, I could name all of our seniors. That's, that's how much I care about those guys. Those guys mean the world to me because, you know, last year's senior group, we had about 18, not, not as big a group, but those guys, I told them they'll, I'll always remember them because they're my first senior group. But I'm going to remember every senior group that I have. I'm going to remember every team that we have because these guys and our whole senior class, you know, that means a lot to me that we've got that many and they've stuck with it and been with football for this whole time. And, and you know, it's not a lot of seniors that, hey, I'm going to play my senior year. This is a lot of guys that's been out there for four years that's put the time in and they're ready to go to work. And they've been so good this summer. I know we've kind of harped on the senior class a lot. When I came out to practice with you guys a little while ago, I said to you, it's really obvious which group of guys on the field were the upperclassmen, were the seniors, and which were kind of some of the younger guys just because they have that bond. So for Coach and then both of the players, how special of a season is this going to be for this senior class? Uh, it's going to be – I think it's going to be really special. Um, you know, they're, they're, as, I, as Jackson had said, it's an opportunity for us. And, you know, our seniors kind of look at it that way as – you know, we've got, we've got a grand opportunity in front of us. And, um, you know, I hope the season we get to play the whole season. You know, I know everybody's talking about the pandemic stuff. But uh, right now we're all focused on August 20th, you know, playing at home, playing Arab in that first game. And, and I hope we get to have as many fans in the stands as we possibly can. Well, Coach, uh, jumping to 7A, and it's great to have 35 seniors because you're going to have to be multiple on offense and defense. Mm -hmm because it's going to be about mismatches. So having those 35 seniors is going to give you that opportunity to adjust, and that's important going into the season. Yes, sir. Yeah, it's, it's, it, us, we're, we're very multiple offensively. We're, God, we got, we got um, seems like a million sets, uh, stuff that coaches put in. Changing from Coach Lyles to Coach Richard as far as defense coordinator there. Um, you know, Coach Richard is putting his own little spin on our defense. I'm excited about him, bright young coach. Um, that, that's, that's very good on the defensive side of the ball. So we're going to be multiple, and we're going to have a bunch of the guys that play different positions. Um, not all of them, but, you know, we're going to have some guys that, that, that play two spots a lot. You know, put, we decided early on this summer that we were going to put, um, you know, put a lot of our ones on offense, and then those guys will go in, you know, third down stuff on defense and that kind of thing. So that's kind of where we're looking at right now. But we're going to have multiple guys, multiple older guys play multiple positions. And, you know, I don't know what's going to happen with the rules. You know, we're trying to make sure guys can play multiple positions because I don't know what happens when school starts. If somebody gets uh, coronavirus, do the, the you quarantine for 10 days in the whole classroom? Do we lose that guy for, you know, I don't know what all the rules and what the standards are going to be yet as far as that goes. So we need guys to be able to play multiple positions more than just one. You talk about your coaching staff a little bit now. You feel kind of like an old head. You got a, a treat. Right. Somebody is moving on and a head coach. Uh, I know. Yeah, talk first. about your staff a little bit. All righty. Um, yeah, I mentioned Coach Rutledge. Uh, coach Rutledge came when Coach Pruitt came. Um, I asked him to come back out and uh, be our offense coordinator. And, and last year was his first year with me. But uh, we've known each other since we were knee high to grasshoppers. So we've uh, we've known each other a long time. Uh, coach Jason Smith is our O line coach. Um, Wonderful coach, um, relates with players very, very well. He's, he's hard on them, but he also loads them up when he has to. Um, coach Andrew Keeney is our uh, new one that came to us. He's our softball coach also, but he's going to coach wide receivers for us. Uh, coach DJ Metz is also going to coach wide receivers. He's been with us for a while. Um, coach Rutledge is also going to be coaching the running backs. I've kind of taken a step back from during the whole pandemic stuff to make sure everybody's spread out and hand sanitized and everything's clean and water bottles are clean and all that kind of stuff. So I've kind of letting, letting him run that side of it. Uh, coach Harrell's a guy that is going to help Coach Smith with our offense, offensive line. He's going to help a lot with the freshmen. Uh, defensively, Coach Will Richard is now our defensive coordinator. He coached our safeties last year. Um, coach Bowman is going to help him in the secondary. We hired Coach Pat Callahan from Boaz uh, to come be uh, come back home to Alberville. I coached him. You know, I, I look back uh, to th my wedding uh, signatures. He was an eighth grader, and I was the junior high head coach uh, for a long time back in 2003. And a bunch of those guys uh, had came to the wedding, so <laughs> I went went back and looked for his signature and took a picture of it and sent it to him. So, um, uh, Coach Will, uh, Whit Ratliff is our D line coach. Um, and you know, Coach Ratliff's a different dude, but uh, you need a different dude to be your D-line coach. And I told that in our D-line meeting, uh, I think Monday when they were watching film. 
I'm not going to say exactly what I said to all those guys, but, uh, you know, <laughs> Coach, Coach Ratliff's a different guy. But we love him. And uh, Coach Oliver, I moved him up from ninth grade. He's still going to help me on ninth grade, but he's going to coach our outside linebackers. Um, and then and then that's uh, uh, Micah Stallworth is, is kind of helping us as a volunteer assistant. Um, he's you know he's working a regular job and then trying to come to practice right now, so he's he's kind of helping us there too. So I'm really proud of our staff. I'm proud of our junior high staff. You know right now, you know things knock on wood things are things are looking up for us. So I'm I'm excited to be at Aberdeen. Trinity, what's uh what's more exciting, catching a touchdown pass or or sacking a quarterback? That you're playing both sides. <laughs> uh, I'd probably, I'd say, catching that touchdown pass. Both got to feel pretty good, though. Yeah, they both feel great. <laughs> I have a question for both players. Uh, last week, when the Alabama State High School Athletic Association said that you were going to have your senior season, what did you do? Did y'all call the team up? What did you do? Uh, well, we have a group chat on Snapchat with all the seniors in it, and the first thing we did was probably four or five guys all sent screenshots at the same time of where they had announced it and everybody. It was just a big celebration. Yeah. Uh, we've we've kind of thought we were going to be able to play, uh, but it was just really cool to uh, just get that assurance. That's you will come in on that. Yeah, that's, that's what happened. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, Coach, I've got one last question if, if nobody else has got. Uh, last year, after several years as an assistant at Albertville High School, they gave you an opportunity to be the head football coach. I've never asked you this <laughs> when we talked, but how much does that mean to you? Yeah, it's, uh, you know, fixing to start year 18 at Albertville, and I was assistant for 16 years. You know, when you you always want to follow in your father. Most people want to follow in their father's footsteps. Um, you know, dad being a head coach, that's kind of what I'd wanted to be since I was little. So. You know, I had been an interim two times already, and uh, was really, you know, hoping this this time would it would come around. And you know, when Dr. English and Dr. Tidwell and and Mr. Reeves finally gave me that opportunity, you know, I, you know, besides getting married, my two kids getting born, you know, probably fourth happiest day of my life. And, you know, so that's that's how much it means to me. Just, you know, when you when you finally realize the dream come true that's what it was that's what it was, was to me but you know that just me being that but for me being able to live in Aberville been in Aberville as long as I have you know I'm getting to the point where now you know some of the guys that I've coached have have sons coming up and saying coach I hope you're there when my son gets there that's the kind of I want to have a positive impact on Aberville for as long as I can be there and 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 affect young men and try to make sure when they grow up that they're a reflection upon, you know, their parents, a reflection upon the city, a reflection upon the coaching staff that we set a good example for everybody else that's fixing to come up. You know, Kingston's a second grader. So I hope I get to at least be the head coach till he's till he graduates and I want these guys to set that example. I and mean, he's at practice every day. Those young there's those young ninth graders, two B ninth graders are at practice, you know, right at, right as these guys are getting finished. So you know, I try to tell them the way you act on the field is the way people's going to think about you. You know, the way you represent Albertville, the way you represent your city. So that means more to me than just being the head coach that, that hopefully raise young men in Albertville for the next 10, 15 years. Coach, thanks a lot. Thanks, Trinity. Thanks, uh, Jackson. We appreciate y'all being appreciate here today. It.